Here we have a cool mid-century sofa that I'm going to restore eventually. As you can see, uh, it's been taken apart by a dog, I think, and it will require um, an entire spring, a brand new spring tie. So at the end of this, I will, have t I will tie these in eight directions and it'll create sort of a net that goes through all the springs. And these springs, there's probably, I don't know how many, 20 or 30 all the way across this whole base. You're going to replace all the springs? I'll replace all the springs. Well, first I'll replace the webbing under the springs and then the springs and then they get all tied together and then you keep adding the layers. So then you have burlap and um, jute mat and then foam and or cotton, whatever your layers are that, that make up the sofa. So. And so how much just the materials and labor are you putting into that? Well, this, the yardage alone for the sofa, and it's missing, it's, it'll have a cushion as well. But it, we're um, roughly, you could be looking at maybe 16 to 20 yards of fabric, depending on if it's a pattern or a solid. Um, How much might that cost, just the fabric? Fabrics can range from 4 or $5 a yard to $400 a yard. There's a huge range. So whatever you're into there's cool stores in town that have you know, nothing's over 15 yard or you know the most people I, I work with in a range of maybe 20 to 100 a yard and how many hours of work are in here for you would you guess <sighs> this would probably be at least a week and i make every single thing the buttons the welting the you know top to bottom from scratch so and do you have any other projects you're currently working on I'm working on a 1970 VW Buzz interior over here. This is one of the front seats. Um, it's, in a, it's been padded already. So I've gone in here and fixed some of the spring system. Uh, some of these springs were broken up in the front and we, we uh, cut new ones and folded them and Baker clipped them in. And then you can see there's a layer of burlap. And then this is the jute padding. And that sort of protects you against the springs, sort of is a harder, coarser material. And then we bought these foam pads right from a VW supplier so they didn't have to custom shape the foam itself. This will become the seat and it will be all postered on. And as you can see, I have glued vinyl to foam and then top stitched it and sewn all these pieces together and custom fit them. As you can see, this bus was really <laughs> needing some love. Every time I finish a project, I post it on Facebook and I get at least two calls almost every time. And it's starting to spread and spread out through, from there. So now friends of friends are starting to call who are seeing pictures of my stuff that they're liking on their pages and it's just starting to blossom. And well, what I have lined up right now is um, I've got like a 50s um, mid-century modern sort of cool, looks like a club chair, but it's a rocker. Uh, I have um, another VW bus that someone's interested in doing. I've got some furniture that's custom made. We call it the monkey bench. And it's, uh, it's like a little wooden bench with monkeys carved all in it. And it's, t it's leather and it's tufted with diamonds. The, the more fun and out there, the better. I just did a project with a local woodworker who's doing his own line of custom furniture. So I upholstered a piece for him and we're working out the kinks and trying to figure out how to do that. So I'm hoping I can do custom stuff. I'd love to do um, cool cars, classics, hot rods, like if with glitter and your kid's face, you know, painted in the back. <laughs> I'd love to do, I've done a yacht so far. I'd love to do another one. Um, what did you do on the yacht? I did the whole interior of the, all the interior cushions. I redesigned it. We put it in a really nice umbrella, brand new foam. Um, nice top stitching like with some of the things we did on the bus and um, right after I finished the yacht the people got accepted into the San Diego Yacht Club so my work went in there and I'm hoping to get some more from there